Okay, so I want to talk to you guys about some calls. Uh, I've made some videos on it. When it comes to Bigfoot, like you see in the TV shows where they do calling, they do the long while howls, and they do the whoops, and they do like the more screams and screeches. Uh, I don't always subscribe to that. I think sometimes you can call them in, sometimes you can't. I think most of the time they know it's you and not one of them. Uh, but in my experience, sometimes I've called things on the property and I think I've brought stuff in at night that maybe I didn't want to, maybe screwing around. So if you're gonna call, I recommend not doing it on your property. And uh, someone asked the question um, why I think you shouldn't feed them. Um, I think if you're out in the middle of nowhere down some trail or some property that's not developed or you don't spend a lot of time on and you leave bait or something by a camera or a gift or something to bring them in, that's probably okay. But don't feed them at your house or a property or if you go and visit the property and another relative is coming up a couple weeks later or a week later, uh, you might be calling in somebody, you might be bringing in a Bigfoot or a bear or something else that you might not want on that property or the next people might not want or uh, if you have neighbors nearby and you're feeding these things and you're not around, they could get destructive, they could harass the neighbors, kind of like when you don't want to feed wild animals in general. Um, so you kind of don't really want to feed Bigfoots. If you throw a couple apples by a tree way far away on some hiking trail that you go check, I don't really necessarily have a problem with that. Uh, but, or some people like to leave them offerings. Uh, maybe if they are being destructive on the other end of your property, you leave them an offering or something. There's maybe something to that. But in general, I say don't feed them because it brings an expectation of food. Um, but anyway, calls. I wanted to try a couple calls up here. Uh, we're going to set up a camera somewhere up here and uh, come back and check it in a little while. Uh, this is a cow range, fire road. This is uh, we'll film up there. Right up there is where I had my encounter where I had the rock thrown at me, coyote hunting, kind of up on that plateau. So I know seasonally sometimes they pass through here or up here and uh, it's pretty far away from the house so I'm not too worried. I, I know they've come around there before anyway, uh, but we're not going to leave any real food on the property or bait for them there. But I think it might be neat to set up a camera somewhere around <coughs> here and uh, maybe do a couple calls because this is what we do. Um, although I don't always think it works like the tree knocking and stuff, I, I think you might when people tree knock, I think they maybe they knock once or twice and maybe they get a response. And then I think the Bigfoot figures out really quick that it's not another Bigfoot. And the same thing with a howl, maybe way far away or it brings them in and then they smell or see sign of humans. And I think they figure it out fast, but it's kind of fun. Um, some people have a lot of success with it. Uh, other people don't. It's not something I really think of when I think of Bigfooting, I like to go out in the woods, kind of minimal, be quiet, just kind of tiptoe around observe even then if they're in the area they're gonna know you're there I think trying to trick them or call them in uh, isn't always a good plan or a good mood because like I said when we were coyote hunting we were blasting a predator call which is like wounded rabbit dying calf horrible stuff actually but it was echoing through all through this canyon right here and uh, I think that's what drew them in and when they saw humans I think they were upset so I think it's kind of careful what you wish for because you could also call in a bear or a mountain lion or something else too um, so I'm gonna try Ohio Howl. It's been a long time since I've done one, uh, but maybe we'll get some good echo here. So here goes nothing. If you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find me at unstellar.com. You can also find me at twitter.com at Real Matt Squatch. This is where I post notifications for new videos outside of YouTube. And I'm also on Instagram. I post uh, other random pictures here too. 
and uh, sometimes some stuff about Bigfoot as well. And you can always email me at matchquatchpresents at gmail.com.